Well, I'm going to ask what's up because it's only uh, uh, a couple hours later. It's uh, 11.35 on the 29th of March. It's uh, my mom's birthday and uh, again, once again, happy birthday. So it's also 2021. And we've got two package openings. We have one package here and a second package here. So let's get to opening it. Let's get the bigger one done first. Just might need my fingers for this. I have the scissors here, but I didn't really need them. All right, so what's going on here? Oh, that's what I expect them to be. Uh, new pairs of shorts for the summer. That's it. Mundane shopping. It's 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 for the stuff I need. Uh, so let's see what else is here. Uh, this is a thicker package, looks like. And then we got some tape on it, so let's get the scissors out. And of course, uh, just as you need them, they're kind of hard to find. Because they're not used a lot. They sort of have a tendency to sit on the side. And as something sits on the side, it's not used a lot, they tend to be pushed further and further back. And So when you do need them, they're kind of hard to get because, uh, well, you push them back. <laughs> so that's uh, how that ends up working out. So let's see here. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, I know this is, this is, this is a, uh, a fanny pack, it's, it's a, it's, I have to carry a lot of Kleenex around, and so I have, that's why I got the shirt, <laughs> one of the reasons why I got the sweatshirts I, I, I have, is I needed, I needed to carry something to carry it around in, so this helps it up, but this is going to be for the summer, where I'm not wearing pocketed shirts, uh, and so this will help out with the Kleenex. I'll be able to put Kleenex in there and, you know, keep it on hand. So, those are the two things that came in. Happy for that. Uh, anyways, uh, I think that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you uh, probably in a couple hours from now. Well, not a couple hours. I'll probably see you later on tonight, uh, probably around 11 o'clock, uh, the sort of finish up the day type of thing. Uh, well, sort of finish up the day. Ooh. Because, well, uh, I didn't sleep on, on the weekend, so I'm in the catch-up mode, but I'm still doing a lot of, I'm still functional. So. Well, it is uh, 22 hours and 12 minutes, in, no, 22 minutes, uh, into the 29th day of March. I should be gaming right now, but uh, the gaming, the server is offline for about two hours, so uh, I'm not going to get to that till about midnight. So I'm here transitioning from coming back from my parents from dinner, from dinner where we had an interesting conversation with my dad and my mom over a number of things that occurred on the uh, weekend. Uh, uh, give me a second here. Well, I was wondering why things hadn't turned off. I had to get up and get the, uh, and check the projector. I, I had turned it on, heard the sound of the click for it to come on, but uh, nothing appeared. Well, it kind of helps if you take the lens cap off, because it is a projector, and uh, so that's what I did. I got up, um, took off the lens cap, and then uh, came back here. Now, of course, you didn't see that because I've edited it out of me getting up and coming back down again, coming to sit back down again. Anyways, uh, I finished off uh, the YouTube stroll uh, 
this afternoon sometime. I can't remember. Was no, it was before noon because I went. To, I, 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 it was a little bit afternoon because uh, I went to game. I had watched. I had breakfast. I had breakfast. Did some gaming. Um, that was after breakfast. Uh, I had watched uh, uh, some YouTube. I did, I did the YouTube stroll. Uh, I started off at uh, Yowie Vlogs, moved over to It's Our Life, and then from there went to some gaming, came back and finished up on the Leroy's, and then uh, went to bed, transitioned back to bed again because I was still feeling tired, and then got up uh, to do the package opening, uh, went back to bed again after that. And then um, went to my parents' house around 6 o'clock in the evening. So now I'm coming back. Uh, I was going to do the gaming, but uh, the servers are offline uh, for another two hours. So I won't be going back to gaming until just about midnight. So I thought I'd get this in as uh, part of our transition point. To get, you know, show you where the different transition points are. So this I'm not coming back into the YouTube stroll. Uh, but because of the time... I will start once again at the Yowie Vlogs because there will be a new Yowie Vlogs up. Go to Our Life to see if there's something new there kind of come up. Back to Leroy's. Uh, you know, I'll start the, the YouTube stroll path all over again. Uh, just about uh, eight hours and 49 minutes into the 30th day of March uh, 2021 and we are beginning to transition uh, from this research desk <laughs> which goes into the other realm and now because we've got uh, uh, full vlogging capacity here it is now also a research desk. I've got uh, enough uh, space on the device that I could do my writing here uh, for uh, where thoughts and ideas come through. This is some kind of mulling over things right now as I transition from uh, the other side into the waking world. That's been I've been like this for about a half hour, so the decision is to move. Uh, to the gaming, uh, the music studio, and, and do uh, that's where I do my gaming, and uh, do the gaming, do some meditation, uh, and then uh, I'll have some breakfast, watch some vlogs possibly, and then uh, transition back. So uh, that way I'll be able to go to my parents' house later on tonight and. Uh, Uh, continue on with the rest of the day. Things are going all right. It just... Uh, I finished a large chunk of upgrades. I've now got two terabytes of offline storage uh, uh, for the research desk here, for the device. Uh, the, uh, it, the device, the, the, the red stick device, uh, works very well. Uh, I now have to sit, go through all the files that I need to to make sure that everything is uh, accessible. And then I've got to start uh, working on uh, meditation, but I'm to show meditations. And I have a couple other shows that will be coming out as well uh, that will sort of span uh, a, a number of different horizons. Anyways, uh, time to get moving, and I will see you in the kitchen. Oh, I got this set right. Uh, it is uh, 11 hours and 14 minutes into the 31st day of March 2021. Uh, I'm not getting out of bed. I'm coming back to bed after doing uh, just about two and a half hours worth of meditation. Uh, so I'm coming back because I've got uh, work to do later on tonight. 
uh, at the uh, church tonight. I have to do some more audio work. So, uh, in addition to another two hours worth of meditation, uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, uh, are, well, actually every day of the week, uh, there's about four, maybe five hours worth of meditation almost every single day in terms of the prayer meditation. And then there is the uh, uh, physiological meditation. This is a, this includes fasting, which is going on for another ooh, uh, not until well, somewhere around May first. That's when uh, pa Pascha ends, Passover ends. So uh, this is the New Testament Passover. We have there are two Passovers. There's an Old Testament one and a New Testament one. Uh, and we celebrate both, so, uh, it's late this year, and the interesting thing I found is that the, it, the, the weather pattern, uh, spring doesn't seem to come until, uh, until, uh, until Passover has come, so, uh, there may be, it has, it, it, I think it may have something to do with the orbits, uh, because, again, the calendar that, Pascha was set on was a astronomical calendar. In our weather, uh, spring, fall, uh, summer, winter, have to do with the uh, positions in the orbit. So as the orbit shifts, uh, that would bring changes within the weather itself. And... Uh, I think that's what kind of explains the difference in the weather is that uh, just because we've got a we call it a solar calendar doesn't necessarily denote uh, the condition of the orbit uh, because there are anomalies within within the orbit that could modify uh, or you know in terms of delay or in, or, or, or advance. Uh, when a particular equinox is going to, going to occur, so uh, that's one possible explanation. But as you see, uh, the even though I didn't take a day off, uh, there, my eyes are still shutting, and uh, uh, the fatigue is still uh, with me from the uh, weekend uh, all-nighter. So. <laughs> I uh, will probably see you later on tonight. I'll vlog some more then uh, when I get back. There's the bus. Has a sense of the frame while I'm lying in bed. So look good. <laughs> Anyways, it is six hours and uh, 57 minutes into the first day of April uh, 2021. It's a Thursday. And we're moving along. Uh, yesterday was kind of, pre it was pretty much of a burn day. Uh, where, and I'm still in the mode where if you go to bed for three, four hours and get up, do something. Go back to bed for three, four hours and get up, do something else again. In other words, the thing is, is that the dream that I was having throughout this whole period was, in many ways, me working out various different issues. Uh, and it's, again, there were, there were repeats of certain dreams, but have specific themes to them in terms of how I feel about uh uh, various events going on in life, or various events that have gone on in the past, uh, you know, sort of like, you did this before, you reacted one way, you do it again, you react maybe a little slightly differently. Uh, in other words, the test to sort of see, uh, along the lines of what you've typically done, how have you progressed? <laughs> Sometimes it's okay, usually, it, 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 the progression is okay. Ugh. But it's never perfect. It's never, ah, I got it. And that's about it. <laughs> it. There's always, yeah, I got it. With a sort of an, uh, with an, uh, an, an, an air to sort of, uh, well, 
I got it, sort of. <laughs> I mean, you got it, but you didn't get the entirety of it. You got part of it, you got a portion of it, uh, and there's still more to learn, more to understand. Uh, and uh, hopefully next time things will improve. But I thought every, every time you go through things, there are it, nothing's ever perfect, and there's always flubs, mistakes, uh, things don't go away that you, you expect them to, don't go the way you expect them to go. And for me, that's just sort of, well, there's more for next time. Other people want it exactly. They want, and if they don't, it doesn't go exactly the way, the way they expect, it, it becomes very depressing. And this is sort of what I see on the internet is to go through TikTok, you go through Instagram, you begin to sort of see the various types of pers the people and personalities out there without necessarily uh, having to meet them directly. In other words, uh, you do get a very good uh, aspect of social interaction in, t in terms of actually more social observance uh, on social media as compared to simply say like going to a mall or something like that. Uh, you do get the sense, you do get the sense of of how, who the person is, how they are, but particularly as you follow them through whatever they post on their social media, you can sort of go, th go through do a history and see you know, is the behavior changing, is there a shift in behavior, is there an evolution of behavior, uh, or whether or not it's the same thing throughout the whole, you know, throughout uh, the their entire expression in terms of when they started on TikTok or this or Instagram or through a uh, other uh, uh, social media forms. Anyways, that's kind of uh, where we are now, and uh, the uh, food coming out of the kitchen, the short order kitchen, has been doing very well. Uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, I've added uh, the Chinese tea, which is brewed with uh, dried fruits, dried fruit and uh, nut and berries in it, and it comes out very, very healthy. Uh, mix that with a little bit of milk and turn it into uh, a shake with some fruit, almost like a smoothie, and it turns out very, very well. Very tasty, but at the same time, very healthy. So, uh, help, happy with that, uh, hoping to do more like that. Uh, so, there is a shift in the menu coming out of the Kawhi Tea House kitchen. So, anyways, I think I'll leave it here for now because there's nothing. Uh, the conversation in terms of the pressing matters or the philosophy isn't here just yet. Uh, and I had it for a while, ooh, about 12 hours ago, but then it just kind of left. And uh, right now it's just sort of time to go back to bed, and that's about it. Well, it is 11 o'clock on April 1st. Yeah. It's 11 hours, not exactly 11 hours, into the first day of April uh, 2021. Um, I didn't think we would get a package opening today, but we did. So let's open this up. Find our spot to make the incision into the plastic. And there, there we go, we've got our spot. And let's open away. Should be interesting. I'm, at this point in time, I really don't know what it is, uh, but I will find out uh, briefly. Tape. The tape has to be cut. I was sleeping, sort of. <laughs> and, but basically what happens is I sleep, I mull things over. Uh, you know, I'll go over 
some of the different things I've been working on. And this causes a bit of, well, not only really restlessly, but it, 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 it doesn't make for the, the, oh, okay, this is good. This is for my electronics bench. <clears throat> So that's what came in. Uh, when I wake from the dream, I still have to carry it on to sort of uh, make some degree of sense out of it. And so that sort of keeps you awake. And then, but eventually you do drift back to sleep. So here we go. Here is the device. It's a digital multimeter that clamps on. Uh, gives you uh, a number of different readings in terms of voltage. This should have temperature. I can't see what this is because I can't read it. It's too dark. But they sent this with it. I will certainly look at that. Later on, in a better sense of, in a better, uh, in a better light, it comes in a pouch, very nice, very nicely, uh, packaged. So let's unzip this, and it seems that the, uh, at the point where it comes, it, uh, seems to have a little bit of a sticking issue. Okay, it's got a manual that I'm going to have to go over later. It's got the cables, the uh, measurement cables. And of course on the inside it has the meter. This is it here. We take it out of the plastic. Plastic's causing a little bit of a glare, so it's hard to see. When you're tired, things don't go as easily. So, here we go. This is it here. Very nice. Very happy with it. It should have the temperature functions and everything else with it. I will have to go over it and give you sort of an overview or a preview of, uh, well, an overview of, of uh, what's here. It seems that there's a latch to open it. But this is how it works. You press it. I can either put the wire here or inside so it forms a loop around and it can actually read the field. Um. Very nice. Anyways, that's the package opening. I, there are there's things for me to go over, things to sort of read through, and this is something I can keep in my backpack uh, with everything else and uh, like my, my, about my other tools. And as I need to, I can sort of uh, pull it out and, and, and get the work done. So, uh, yay for that! <laughs>